Hello, Divine Masculine, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Divine Masculine, um, your oracle cards are coming out pretty strong, but um, the image that Spirit showed me in my head about you and your reading is, okay, so they showed me Hulk Hogan in a movie theater yelling at people and ripping his shirt off. Okay, so I don't really... Divine Masculine, what's going on with you? Okay, that's like the first question. Divine Masculine. Anyway, just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Um, you're coming in pretty powerful. I feel like you've had enough of something. I That's what it feels like to me, like you've had enough. I'm kind of getting the feeling like... Um, I don't know. Has everybody been like putting their burdens onto you? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. You could be around a group of people that's just like beep, 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 beep. I don't know. They, they like want you for everything or they're, they're there. They need you for any little thing or um, they're constantly taking from you but not giving anything back. You know what I'm saying? Um, it could be friends. It could be family. It could be one specific person and not a group. Okay, so take it how it resonates. But um, yeah, I feel like you're taking a stand here. You're, you're wanting to take a stand. Maybe it's just because all of a sudden I got this like daydreamy kind of energy. Maybe that's something that you're planning is to take a stand. Like you're reaching the point where you just can't, it's like you can't handle everybody on your case or you can't handle everybody needing everything from you you know yeah it's it almost feels like you're being pulled in about five or six different directions all the time for someone but your your um your oracle cards are kind of saying the same thing and you're getting this fire okay you're getting this fire inside of you like you just it's like a it's been a building effect Right? It's been building and building and building and building and building and you just can't handle it anymore. That's the feeling that I'm getting. You got your bags packed here. You could be packing bags in secret, like quietly in secret, keeping that part hidden. Like you could have a, a bag of, um, like a travel bag in your car stashed away somewhere so that no one will see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I feel like when you leave these people this group or whatever it is behind you're not going to want them to even know where you where you're going uh, i feel like you just want to walk away from something here it's just become too much um smoke of sage i i am pure the sweet smoke of sage purifies me i am spiritually aware of the divine wisdom that surrounds me and that, yeah, you're aware of what, every, what everyone around you is doing to you. You're aware that all of these people around you that surround you, they're using you or burdening you, holding you down, holding, I don't know what this is. Um, I clear the air of conflict and I trust my healing intuition. Yeah, you just, and I feel like maybe you, people around you are fighting with you a lot. Like with conflict, you just want to get away from the conflict, okay? So you're not getting along with people that you're around and you just want out, okay? Like seriously, you already have a bag packed maybe or that's something that you're planning on doing, okay? I embrace the adventure of my life. Today, I am courageous enough to try something difficult to achieve my goals. And this is the difficult part is turning your back. I'm like a whole group of people that you know need you for everything, okay? But yet at the same time, they have to stop needing you for everything, right? I feel like you just want to get away. Some of you are taking a stand and saying, you know, maybe you're just wanting to get away from them for a while, right? Something like that and not bringing anyone with you, not caring about their problems, letting them take care of their own ish, right? And you going on some kind of adventure. This could be you going on a vacation or just wanting out of a situation. This could be you also making a move. So you could be packing, okay? Um, I kind of get the sense that you don't want any conflict though. So like if you've packed a, if you've packed like a bag, you've probably kept it like quiet. 
if you, you know hidden right if you're packing boxes it's probably little things at a time that people aren't going to notice right away and then boom when the time is right I feel like you're out you're gone because it, you're that fire within you it's like you can't put it out now you now that you know what everyone around you is up to now that you know you're dealing with um opportunists you're dealing with people who are using you you're dealing with people who are lying to you you're dealing with manipulators energy vampires i don't know i feel like it's a combination of all of that people who talk like trash about other people behind their backs or you're just you're realizing you're around a group of low vibing dysfunctional fighty angry toxic dark people okay like dark energy people so yeah you're you want to get out now that you know what you know you can't it's like you can't turn back now i believe i believe you could be falling in love with someone you could be thinking about someone else because the song i just got was it's too late to turn back now I believe, I believe, I believe I'm falling in love. That's the song I'm hearing. I just don't know who does it. So if you know, please drop a comment, right? Um, but yeah, you're like that, like um, Hulk Hogan, right? The, the, the whatever they're showing me, an image of Hulk Hogan, like ripping his shirt off, getting really angry, like saying enough is enough, you know? Um, something also about a mess, like... Some of these people could have made like a big mess of your stuff, a mess of your finances, a mess of your job or business, a mess of your home, a mess of your mind, right? Um, some of these people, like they would lay their burdens on you and put you down at the same time. Like, you know, it, I, you've been around some toxic people, Divine Masculine. I feel like Spirit has been wanting you to get this fire of confidence right um this whole time yeah i am reborn through the fire no matter my history or circumstances i rise above i soar with strength and determination that's that that's what it is it's like a determination when faced with adverse adversity i overcome i am the beauty rising yeah i am the beauty rising from the ashes yeah, you're like the phoenix now. Now you're, um, you're taking a stand for yourself. You've got that fire lit. Um, you may even be motivated, I think, by your divine feminine's energy, okay? I feel like that could be part of your motivation. Maybe you've been watching your divine feminine and you've just been watching, like, inspired by her, you know? Free right she's free and i feel like that's kind of what you want to um she's inspired you in some way i'm gonna have to listen to that song <laughs> when we get done with your reading um i gotta find it too yeah it's too late to turn back now i believe i believe i believe i'm falling yeah but something about being a believer like you're a believer in this path now. You're a believer. There's more for you out there. There, you're you you could be becoming a believer um, that spirit has something greater for you. You know, you're part of something bigger. Um, there's something about your divine feminine's energy that has inspired you and motivated you. Okay, I feel like that energy. Um, that knowledge, I feel like it's kind of been kicking your butt this whole time. I feel like that's part of why you're feeling burdened. Because you know, you know you're, you're part of something bigger as a divine masculine, okay? Yeah, you're choosing a new path here, divine masculine, I am telling you. So I feel like you're going to be leaving something or someone behind or multiple people that were very clingy. Um, the people you're leaving behind are stuck. Also, they, they're, if you leave them behind, they can't, they're not going to be able to come with you on this journey. They're not going to be able to come with you on your path. I'm hearing something about a walkabout, too. That's like, um, I, I picked that up from a movie, uh, Crocodile Dundee. In Australia, I guess they go on, people have been known to go on walkabouts where 
they go on a spiritual journey. It's a solo journey, you know, and they just walk and find themselves and discover themselves and get closer to God and spirit. Okay. And I feel like that's what you may need is some time to get closer to the divine, heal from some things. It feels like hermit energy. Okay. Um, so you could be a Virgo, you could be a, um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be doing some kind of cleansings, but I feel like you just, you know that the negativity is around you. And I feel like instead of burning sage, you're just packing up a bag and leaving. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. Taking a stand, right? You've got some kind of plan. Or you've been planning with others. Others may be helping you in getting out of, the, of, of a situation that you felt very stuck in. Yeah, that was another thing too. I'm seeing like... Um, I'm seeing blisters on someone's face, but um, I feel like they're in other places as well. Um, I'm also, and it could have been a tattoo, okay? So I don't know. You could have recently gotten a tattoo, and it may end up getting infected. Look at how red it is here. Um, so, yeah, just be careful of that. Okay, or you could have like a, I don't know, some kind of bacterial infection somewhere. Divine masculine. It could have been because of who you've been around as well. Or someone could have some kind of bacterial infection. They're showing me too that somebody could have gotten like some kind of waxing done. And that got infected. It doesn't feel like an STD. It feels just like, like an infection. Okay, so be aware of that. That's for someone. Watch over that tattoo. I don't know how to clean them or anything. I don't have tattoos, so. Um, but, you know, um, just take care of it while it's healing. See a doctor. Okay, something like that, right? Um, yeah, I feel like you have felt so stuck where you are okay and now it's almost like that like you've been feeling like sort of a caged animal sort of pacing back and forth like what am i going to do how am i going to get out of this how am i going to get out of this right and now you're like uh, you're breaking free from that okay is really what i'm feeling like you've broken free from it and i, I you're coming out the worse for wear I feel like these people, have, whoever you've been around Divine Masculine, they have really depleted you. You could be having some health issues right now. Um, you could be exhausted. Your finances could be depleted as well. Something about mess, people making messes of your things, breaking your stuff, I don't know. It's almost like people don't have, wherever you are, they don't even flipping respect you. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. These fell on the floor, so I'm not going to take them. Um, clarify this Nine of Cups. Why is this Nine of Cups here? You could be, like, wanting something more out of life, okay? Wanting some wish fulfillment. Or you could be defending your Divine Feminine here as well. Having, like, being really sick and tired of the toxic talk, you know, the gossip right? You could also be feeling very defensive. Um, yeah, you see this divine feminine as your happiness, man. This is your wish. This is who you want to go to. I feel like maybe, um, and I'm listening, they're playing that song in my head again. It, it's too late to turn back now. Not only can it, you, you can't turn, um, you can't go back to the toxic people, but you may be wondering if it's too late if you came back to your divine feminine like you may not know how she feels about you anymore okay i feel like you've been in separation hold on i need to adjust my chair <laughs> hold on for just a second you guys okay hold on i have to pause this sorry about that divine masculine my foot got like stuck in between my chair and the leg of the table <laughs>
<laughs> so maybe I maybe that's what it feels like for you. Okay, that could just be a confirmation. Um, you could just feel so stuck. You could feel like people are like grabbing on to your ankles, not wanting you to leave from a situation. Okay. Yeah. Divine Masculine, I feel like the if you were to stay where you are, being this annoyed, aggravated, knowing the truth about these toxic people, it would start giving you a health issue. Okay? And I feel like you're aware of that. You may be suffering from some health issues already. Okay. All right. What can you show me? Tower moment. This is where you bring down the tower for people. I feel like this is you breaking free of that little cage, right? Taking a stand for yourself um, and bringing down the tower for people. This is saying, I'm not going to carry your burdens for you anymore. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Look at you are worse for wear, Divine Masculine. Depleted here. I mean, you got a little bit of fight left in you, but it's to stand up for yourself. Okay, you're telling people to, you know, they need to, they need to fend for themselves. Okay, you may even be telling someone that you're going towards your divine feminine. Okay, your two of cups. You may be defending divine feminine and telling someone that you're going towards divine feminine. You may be saying that you can't stop thinking about this Divine Feminine. You could have children with this Divine Feminine. Okay? But yeah, you're totally taking a stand. Not just for yourself now, but now it's for Divine Feminine too. Yeah, you're telling people they got to carry their own burdens. You're not carrying these burdens anymore. Oh yeah, and you're full on defending yourself here. This is looking to me like a person who's no longer going to back down. Okay, Divine Masculine? Yep, you want your feminine. Look at this. That's the one you want. This is Divine Feminine energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Your feminine could be a Virgo. You could be a Virgo. <laughs> Um, I feel like your, your emotions kind of overflow for this feminine, you know, um, I always see the five of cups as like a hermit, right? Without the hoodie. Okay. And that's because you can't contain how you feel for this person anymore, you know, but you've got so much regret and, um, there's a part of this that feels like unrequited love. You know, like you constantly carry the feminine's energy around with you everywhere you go. You're, you're in a lot of regret here, a lot of remorse for turning your back on, on your feminine. You're sorry, truly, truly, deeply sorry here for what you've done. You know, but the, here's the thing. I feel like you've got some kind of fear here. How does the feminine feel about you? Because it could have been years in separation and this feminine has gone through a transformation. She hasn't been focused on you. She's not focused on you now in this picture. She's working on her finances. She's working on a project that she loves. She's working on building and growing and nurturing something into a success. She's taking very good care of herself. She's getting herself some new things and treating herself to some things and getting beauty treatments and perms and, and hair colorings and uh, pedicures and manicures. And I mean, she's looking good. She's been working on herself. She's been working on her healing. And she's been building her finances and her business or her, her bank account, you know, her stability. Okay, and now she's ready for a commitment from someone. And this, isn't, this is someone who knows her value. She's not going to wait for someone to choose her. She, in fact, is going to be the one who's choosy. Okay? She's not going to settle, and she's not going to wait. And you know that. Okay? And you know you've already made, I feel like you've made this, this divine feminine wait a long time okay and that's one of the things that you regret 
feel like also you really want to turn around and face this divine feminine, but you're hanging your head down low in shame. You're, I feel like you feel ashamed for how you treated her. You feel ashamed for not recognizing her worth and value. And you feel ashamed for treating her like an option, um, you know, for this long, right? She's moving on. So this is a... Um, this is somebody who could even, what is this? Somebody could have gotten pregnant here. Your feminine could already be in a new commitment and married to somebody else. That's for someone with a baby on the way. Seriously, this is a baby on the way. So, yeah, you, for some of you, you've completely missed your chance. At a beautiful soulmate connection with an empress because you didn't know her value and because you were focused on the wrong kind of people you know yep she's the one this is the one but this feminine here may already be committed to someone else already living wish fulfillment oh divine masculine or this is what you have pictured in your head. Okay, take it how it resonates. Or you see this, this feminine as the one, the queen of pentacles. She's wifey. Sorry about that, divine masculine. Um, yeah, this queen of pentacles, um, I feel like now, now through all of this time, you've fallen in love with her. Okay? And... Um, and you're kind of in disbelief, like, how could you have missed this? Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, you were under some kind of illusion, maybe, but I'm really feeling like this feminine, she's about to get other options. Okay, she could even be making a house move. But little by little, Divine Masculine, this, this feminine is slipping right through your fingers. Okay, she's, um, she's leaving your life little by little. And she's got new options around her. That's what the Empress does. And the energy that this feminine is in, she is attracting new opportunities and new people to her. Okay? She's like a magnet in Empress energy. Okay? What is this one that fell out? I feel like Divine Masculine, you, you really want to communicate, but there's something holding you back. I feel like it's, um, it's shame. Feel like you're ashamed of yourself because you you didn't see this feminine's worth. So yeah, I feel like that's what's holding you back. But you are very emotional. Okay, you could be um, you could be a Virgo. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this feminine could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you see this feminine as your perfect match. You're in love with them, Divine Masculine. And I feel like that's part of the stress you've been feeling. That's part of this buildup inside of you, right? Because it, it's been building and building and building. This um, anxiety, the maybe anger, um, um, aggravation. It's like aggravated energy, right? And now it's like you're taking a stand. You're moving on. I do feel like you're walking away from a bunch of people here, but you're walking straight into hermit energy, okay? So it is going to take you a while anyway to come towards this feminine. And in the meantime, she's moving on. I feel like you're... um you're going on that walkabout. You're, um, you need to heal from some things. But man, you're in love with this person. You're in love and you know you need to apologize. You know you're going to have to really fight for this connection, Divine Masculine. You're going to have to fight for this. You're going to have to fight for this person. Because there's just been, I feel like there was too much that was done dirty to her, okay? There there was too much that was done dirty to this feminine. 
and it's taken too long for you to come back in to make it right. Yeah. She may be meeting someone new. She's going to start, this feminine's going to start meeting new people. Okay. Yep, she's, uh, she could already be dating, making a house move. All right, and it's leaving you feeling out in the cold because she's not talking to you. She's not talking to you, you know, or maybe you're afraid she's not going to talk to you because I don't think you've tried yet. I don't think you've even tried to apologize yet. I, I think you're still in that kind of like shame energy, okay, of what you did to this feminine and the fact that now you got to come back around and say you're sorry for it, you know. Um, yeah, and in high priestess energy, I'm telling you, this feminine probably already knows how you're feeling right now. She's very intuitive, okay? Um, she could even be someone like a, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, uh, tarot card reader, astrologer. She's in the top of her field, I feel, okay? But yeah, this is your two of cups. This is the one that you're in love with. I feel like it, you're tired of the silence. Like you can't handle the silence anymore. You want the silence broken, but you don't know how to break through the high priestess's barrier. Okay? You don't know how to approach. You know, Divine Masculine, right now, I mean, I feel like you're breaking free from a lot of toxic people. You're breaking free from a toxic cycle. Probably the best way that you can. Okay? Taking a stand, speaking your truth, turning your back, and walking away. Okay? And I feel like, um, I feel like you can't come towards this feminine anyway until you break free from any toxicity. Okay? Um, Maybe handle thing in, things in stages because I'm feeling that you're, you're feeling really overwhelmed. You're feeling overwhelmed. You know, um, like you want, you want all of this cleared up now. You want to talk to your feminine now, right now, now, now. But right now you want to get away. You want to get away and be alone now, you know. Um, you want to move now, but first you've got to take a stand and you want to take that stand now. You know what I mean? It's like everything is happening all at the same time and you're feeling this really overwhelmed feeling. Let me know if that's resonating, okay? It's like everything has come to a head right now, okay? And like a pimple, everything is kind of popping, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, you could be feeling a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure to handle every situation correctly, okay? You could very well be a Virgo. Um, I just picked up on that energy of, you know, how you sort through all the scenarios, right? One scenario at a time, okay? Um, you got to have a plan. You got to have the perfect plan and how, like, at, in what, um, what order everything has to be done in, okay? Um, you could be really overthinking this and that could be stressing you out, you know? Yeah, but you, you are um, definitely taking a stand, Okay? You're definitely walking away from some toxic people. You've got a fire inside of you now, Divine Masculine, and, and a, a determination, I feel, that can't be stopped at this point. You're like, you're like Hulk Hogan, right? Rah, you know? <laughs> Bursting through any kind of um, restrictions, anything like that. You're like, no, 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 no. These aren't my burdens. They're your burdens to carry other people's. Yeah, you're not doing that. You're not carrying all the burdens anymore for others because, quite frankly, they've drained you, depleted you, and you can't. These people are going to end up putting you out in the cold, um, especially financially, you know, if you continue to help and do for everyone, right? 
So you're leaving all of that behind, but as you go, man, your heart is pulling for this, uh, this divine feminine. Like your heart is just like, oh, you know, it's kind of an ache, right? It's, it's an ache is what it feels like. Some of you could be having some kind of chest pains. My goodness, go to the doctor, Divine Masculine. This is bad health. Um, this is bad health. Somebody here may need to see a doctor. You could have acquired some health issues from this last cycle and the toxic people you've been around. You know? Give me one more for Divine Masculine. But yeah, you've been doing a lot of planning on how to break free. Look look at you. Yeah, and get some rest, Divine Masculine. You haven't been sleeping at night. Okay? This, all of this, it just feels so overwhelming that maybe sometimes at night you, like, sit and cry. Because all of a sudden, looking at this picture, I wanted to start crying, okay? It's all very overwhelming, uh, these are all the scenarios that you go in your that go over in your mind all the time, okay? Um, and losing this this feminine, you know you're losing this feminine little by little every day. You know you are, but if you come towards this feminine before you break free from all of these toxic people, you know she's gonna. Sorry again, so many interruptions, divine masculine. What the heck is going on? It's got to be like crazy in your life right now, like for real. I feel like everything is getting crazy. Everything is getting shaken up, okay? And um, your emotions are being shaken up. And there's, I don't know, it's very overwhelming energy. What's going to help this masculine and you're, I feel like the, um, the main part is, though, is that you're losing this feminine. That's, that's the part that really triggers you. Yeah. Yep. And your feminine is moving on. I feel like she's tired of the stagnancy. She wants some change. She's going to start focusing on her future now. Yeah, Divine Masculine, I feel like um, there's someone new coming into the picture. Or, like I said, you could be finding out that she's already married and, and has, uh, she could be married, happily married with a baby on the way. Okay, whether she's met someone new yet or not, she's about to. And that's, uh, she's worthy of love. So Spirit is sending her love, and she's in the process of releasing this connection with you and walking away. Like you're literally, le she's leaving your life, you're losing her. Um, and Spirit has someone else that's coming in. Yeah, Divine Masculine. Um, I don't know, Divine Masculine, just <sighs> handle everything day by day. You know, um, but remember here, what, whatever you do, I, I feel like you're, you're losing a lot here, okay? You're losing, you're losing a, a group of people that you've been around probably for years, maybe your whole life, friends and family that you thought were great but ended up being toxic. But you're also losing your feminine as well. She is moving on, okay? Anyway, Divine Masculine, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, join this awesome soul family, and until next time, Divine Masculine, take care of you and peace out.